everybody, it's Gina. Welcome back. I've got a journal to share with you guys today. This obviously is um, a baby journal. Um, I've named this one Little Darling because of the title. And it's um, another tome. So it's a two and a half inch spine. Um, it's five and three quarters by eight and a half in size. Uh, five signatures. And as you can see, I, I don't know if I've ever explained, I should have, other than my the last nature journal, which was a fabric um, covered, all of these journals are also hand painted. Um, obviously with that one, because of the design, I didn't need to do that, but these have been painted and uh, you can see on this one I did some layering with some, this was a pack of, um, Authentic, and I think it was New Beginnings or something. Uh, I got that a while back from Tuesday morning, and I love this paper pack. It's gorgeous. Um, so this was perfect for this journal. So I layered it with that, a, sh a piece of it, um, some cheesecloth, another um, image. I did stitching, sewed vintage buttons on. Aren't these beautiful little buttons? Look at that one. That's so sweet. And then I added some uh, trim down here. This has got a um, satin ribbon closure. And we'll go inside. Just make sure everything's in frame for you. So this is the inside cover. Love this paper. Um, now I did mix up some other scrap papers that I had that coordinated with it. And then um, I've made a pocket on the front here, and this was from the the paper pack, so love that. And then these were as well. So I've tucked those in. This is a little hand crocheted flower here. And this um, little pocket and tag, I can't remember what... Mm, I cannot remember what paper pack that came from, but I thought that went really nice because I've tried to keep this so it could be for a boy or a girl. Um, and I've just added some um, vintage children's book pages. So everything in here is, is you know, children's books. Um, I've got some of these Cinderella um, playing cards. I'm not sure. I think it was a Cinderella game, but... They're very um, old. I don't. I'll see if I can find the pack really quick here. Yeah, this is a. It was a Cinderella card game. And when I ran across those, I had to snap those up. Love them. So I've tucked a couple of those with the other little journaling cards in. Like I said, lots of little um, children's book pages. Got some lined paper. That's been everything's been tea dyed. This is a nice tuck spot here with some of the paper from the pack. A little scrap sheet. I put um, some coloring book pages, and then this is some of the um, crocheted trim. Now there are some white pages as well because I wanted this to have a mix um, with it being a, you know, like the baby's first year. I thought it was nice to have it kind of mixed up, but most of the papers are tea dyed. Love these. Um, yeah, I should have showed you guys. I love this book. Um, this was, I can't remember the title of it, but I picked that up a while back and I've just been waiting to use this because um, I've got a couple of golden books. I, I think I'm going to be altering in the new year. I don't, I don't think I'll have time before then. So those are definitely going to go in there. Here's another little tuck spot. Um, so yeah, I'm just slowly trying to gather more books here. Um, it just takes time to find these things. Another little journaling card from the um, paper pack. This was some paper that I tried um, with purple cabbage and it is just fascinating how that process came out because when the paper's wet 
it looks pink. Then when you bake it, it turns blue. Well, kind of like a um, purpley blue. Then when I went to iron it, it became pink again. So it was fascinating to see, but now it's back to blue. So I put that in there. I just think it's really cool uh, design. So yeah, it was fun to play around with that. I'm, I'm finally starting to get a bit of time to try all these techniques. Here's some, I did some hand stitching on there. Um, stitched around this. You know, you've got this list of things that you see online and you want to do and oh, Finally, I'm starting to clear some time to, to play around with some different techniques. Uh, that's the thing I love so much about uh, crafting, is trying all these new things I see. This um, is just a uh, waterfall type journaling spot. But what I did is I've done a um, hinge so that it could just... Well, to be honest, I, I, I've glued these down first. I'm going to tell them myself here, you guys. I glued these down first, and then when I realized, oh gosh, if I glue that, I'm going to lose my journaling space, I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to put a hinge on it, and I actually really, really like this because you can move it around. You can put some nice, you could put a nice big photo here, and you can still have room to, to write little things. And then if you wanted to come back, you could add some little photos here is what I thought. That was really sweet. I love how that came out. Isn't it funny? Um, little mistakes can sometimes turn into some really good ideas. And then sometimes they can be just disastrous, but we won't talk about that. Okay, here we've got um, oh boy, a little um, tuck spot with another crocheted um, flower. And then this is another of the Cinderella cards and uh, some more little tags and things I've cut. That's the back of that paper. Um, here is a, a pocket. You've got a, a small pocket here that I've put a little tag in. Another pocket here and then you've got the Tim Holtz um, little folder um, photo. Oh, I don't remember. I must look at the name of that. Anyways, you know you can tuck little things in each of those spaces. Oh, I just love these book pages. They are gorgeous. Beautiful. And here's just a little CD um, holder with this little tag. I love that. The images on this kit were so beautiful to work with. Lots of room for um, documenting, you know, things that are happening in the baby's first year. Another coloring page. Another uh, image from a children's storybook. I've got to tell you guys, when I went through this, let me see if I can grab this book. can't find it. Sorry. Sorry. I'm, the room's in a mess right now. Anyways, I was looking through this. It has some stunning images. But I really had to sort through because some of these old um, fairy tale books, um, they're quite scary, actually. <laughs> it was really funny to look back through and I thought, actually, I thought, wow, these would never, never... Um, be given to children nowadays, I don't think, but it was funny, so I really had to be quite selective to choose things that weren't going to terrify a child. Here's uh, some fabric ruffle, fabric ruffle, and here's another little stitched tag. And look at that, isn't that beautiful, beautiful kit. Love these papers. Um, here I've done a, a double pocket. 
So you can add quite a lot of little things there. And then I just did another little tuck spot here and just layered that with some cheesecloth behind it. I'm finding um, with the tomes, I'm having to scale back on embellishing as much as what I would in a um, regular journal. So if you've noticed a bit of a difference, um, that is why. Because uh, obviously in our journals, well most of the time in a journal I'm just working with one signature. So you can do quite a bit. But with these, they are so full already. I've got to be so careful not to overdo it, otherwise it's just ridiculously big. And uh, particularly with this, because it is the whole purpose of this one is for somebody to fill with their own um, memorabilia from the baby's first year. This I've just um, taken a, another from a different book. I thought that was a really sweet image. and I've just cut it down and added it because that paper was... Uh, white on that side, so I thought that was nice. And then here you've got a, a space to write. Some more little um, coloring book. So with this, if you didn't want to use it for that, it is sturdy enough that you could do some mixed media on that too. So that kind of serves two purposes. <clears throat> Love that. Just so sweet. And here's some more of that fairy fairy tale book I was telling you. Look at those. They're just beautiful. Love it. It's really nice to be able to repurpose a book because most of the books that I get, you know, you get a few of them that are still in great condition, but most of them that I seem to be running across over here are... Um, they really are on their way out, and if you can save them, I just think it's really nice to be able to um, upcycle them. Uh, this is uh, one of those little uh, children's animal uh, cards I've had for a while, and then another of the journaling cards. <clears throat> Um, over 200 pages again, and various um, bags and do doilies and, um, you know, handmade pockets and so forth. So there's, there's a lot of room for using this. This is a double pocket. And here I just made one big pocket, and this has got... We can put all the, the information when the baby's born. Pretty little images. Look at those. <laughs> Flips out. Another little bag. You can make us a little pocket, some more journaling cards, it's a little belly band I made, and some more journaling space. And there's the center of that signature. Another little fabric ruffle. Enjoy making these um, books. It's nice to have a, a change from the uh, journals for a little while, but I will be going back to those, so um, stay tuned because I am going to be starting on some different journals probably in the next uh, week. I, d I like to mix things up. I just really do struggle to stay focused on any one thing for very long. And I've seen so many beautiful kits coming out. Um, 
I'm anxious to get get back to just making some smaller projects. These are very, very time intensive. And um, I do love the look of them. They are fabulous. I know it probably doesn't come across on camera, but they are really um, beautiful journals, if I do say so myself. But it is it is nice to go back to some that you can complete in a shorter time, you know. Because um, here's another belly band. And a blessing bag. That's precious. Some more ruffle. Here's another double pocket. And this is another double pocket here of me as well. And then that's another hand-stitched um, tag. And then in the back, this is a double pocket. And then I've just added a couple more of the little cards that I've got from my collection. And that is the back of the journal. So there you have it, guys. I hope that uh, you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, just put them in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. I'm not always on the Internet, because obviously I'm, I'm busy working, but I do try to answer as quickly as I can. I hope everybody's having a great week, and I will be back very soon. Take care. Bye.